You know, back when I was a kid, long family car trips were never a problem. For one simple reason, we were all afraid of dad. Uh, times have changed. Parents today give their kids respect and freedom and constant support. And man, are they paying the price. So this time on Handyman Corner, I'm gonna show you how you can enjoy a pleasant family car trip without reverting back to the pattern of parental discipline and behavioral standards that were apparently ruining all of our lives. Okay, the first step in giving kids their own space is to divide up the space so you can still have yours. I've cut this cardboard template in the exact shape of the gap between the driver and passenger compartment in my minivan. Now, this is just a template for something stronger, but don't use plywood or cinder block. You want something you can see through. Kids can do bad things very quietly. I'm gonna use this plexiglass. Just need a little paint remover to get the words off there. I told Abe nobody around here would pay extra for a hand wash. I left this on for the kids. <laughs> now to cut the same shape out of plexiglass. This plexiglass splinters real easy. So I got a fine saw. Well, it's not real fine, but it's fine. <laughs> and I cut slowly. <laughs> well, there's two weeks of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> Now I just put the plexiglass in place and hold it there using the handyman secret weapon. So I'm gonna have a divider, you know, like they have in limos or police cars. I guess the same rule applies to rich people as it does to criminals. Don't wanna treat anybody unfairly. <laughs> Boy, this doesn't fit as well as I had hoped. Uh, I'll just use more duct tape. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Okay, we're good. Okay, the next step is to soundproof the passenger compartment. That way your kids can listen to their own music without you constantly hearing words that need to be explained to you. So how do we get that soundproof recording studio decor? Look what I found in my shed. <laughs> you know, I should probably get my cholesterol checked. Okay, let's give it a try. Hope the kids don't think I'm egging them on. <laughs> Maybe I should have said that in the soundproof area. But we're not done yet. You really don't want other motorists to see your kids' faces and hand gestures. It's been my experience that motorcycle gangs have virtually no sense of humor. So to avoid those confrontations, we're gonna tint the windows. Here again, cost is a consideration, but if you've got an old movie theater in your town, Go into the storage room, and you'll probably find 3D glasses. How about that, huh? It's functional, and it looks functional. Your first trip should be to the 3D movie at the drive-in theater. That way, the kids get the full effect, and you won't hear a thing. So remember, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. I must have hit the child-proof lock button. <laughs> Harold! Harold! <laughs> well, you know how some people can't leave well enough alone? Well, that's the case here. They found some new way of watching the Red Green Show. The expression flogging a dead horse also comes to mind. Anyway, there's some link somewhere. They're gonna put it on the screen probably right over my face if I know these guys. And you follow that and all the instructions and everything there. But apparently they, have, they schedule and they watch shows or they put a bunch of handyman corners together or they, who knows what they're gonna do. But it's interactive, which means you actually get to interact, which of course I was never interested in doing. But uh, we got somebody who is, uh, check it out. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, don't call me.